Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be playing Victoria 3 and we are going to be doing our first disaster save uh, video. I actually thought it was a bit of an interesting idea sent to us by Luis here. Luis writes, this is my communist, or hey generalist, this is my save, uh, this save is my communist America game. It is 1903, I have a pretty big gold uh, reserve investment pool, 950 is construction, my GDP is around 200 mil, which for this stage in the game is not great. I have uh, South and Central America in my market. Uh, some are my protectors, some just in my customs union, which is a bit hard, uh, but they rolled back some of the nerfs on the customs union thing. Um, some also recently left like Amazonas and Brazil because I went communist. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. Britain is pretty huge in terms of territory and market reach. I sit at 6 G, uh, GP with 19-ish SOL. I have full welfare workers and protections in place along with many other liberal laws. Might not be interesting enough to make a video on, but maybe you could do something cool. I actually like this one a lot because this wasn't a, uh, uh, this is an unwinnable war, please help me, uh, type of save. Although we are going to do at least one of those because I think a lot of wars are winnable. And so we're actually going to start off with like a bit of a diagnosis, uh, of what's going on. I have not taken a look at this save at all. Um, and so this is going to be uh, hopefully a bit uh, interesting in terms of what we're looking at. So first of all, we noticed construction queue is not filled. Uh, we want to just come in and fill it, uh, but before we know what to fill it with, we have to kind of see what type of buildings we have. And so we have, you know, a lot of consumer goods, this type of stuff. Okay. Uh, we have to see it. Let's see in the rural. Got a lot of corn farms. That's not ideal. Um, corn farms are really inefficient. Wheat farms and rice farms are better. Millet farms are best. Uh, or millet and rice are best. Um, livestock ranches, a lot of coal, a lot of iron, that's good. A lot of gold mines, that's also good. Uh, and a various amount of plantations. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's take a look at our market. Uh, looks like we got, okay, a little bit over here. And is this French or us? No, it's French. Mm, didn't get any, okay, we got a little bit of this here, but didn't do too well in the uh, colonization game. Uh, did get Zulu and Aranje. Do we have anything over here? Not really. Okay, so we've mainly just played an isolationist uh, United States at this juncture. Luckily, United States has a ton of resources. Um, so let's take a look at kind of some market prices, which will give us a little bit of an idea what to expand first. But we see the first thing is... Uh, well, we have an, our pops have an obsession with wine, so this is actually pretty annoying because the wine f uh, price always gets inflated. I think Dixie pops are obsessed with wine, if I'm not mistaken here. Let's just take a look here and take a look at uh, Yankee. No? Dixie? No? Why is wine so expensive? Okay, maybe we can solve that. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, coal is expensive, that's good. Wood is kind of middling, but wood has really good PMs. Let's take a look at our technology. Where are we at? Uh, we don't want to research oil turbine, and we don't want to do it ahead of time, so let's cancel that. Um, oil turbine is generally not the best investment. We see we are kind of, we have, we're in tier four, it looks like. We don't want to be going ahead of time. Although oil turbine's like six months left, but even then I think we're gonna cancel it here. We do have malaria prevention. But we don't have much colonies. Um, so I think we're going to swap over here. And we are going to actually... God, it feels so bad swapping with this just like almost done. But we're going to swap... Uh, do we have a bunch of oil? If we have a bunch of oil, uh, plastics is a much better sink. Let's take a look. Let's, we have a few oil rigs. Maybe oil turbine will actually be okay. We'll put in plastics next because we have a decent amount of oil. I'm not sure. Okay. So, kind of looked over some stuff. I think what we want to do is we want to make stuff a little bit easier for us. So, we're going to come in. We're going to go for logging camps. We are going to take a look. And we are going to build uh, a bunch kind of everywhere. A level 1 logging camp everywhere. Logging is generally really efficient on electric sawmills. And so, in order to make our lives a little bit easier, we're just going to build a level 1 everywhere. And then set it on auto expand. Now, this is not... This is kind of QOL thing when we're going to be looking at this. Uh, okay. And then we'll just set these all to auto expand. And then we will just take a look at all the PMs. Uh, actually, let's put in some more logging camps. We're now just going to bring some up to max level so they have maximum throughput. Um, 
And this way our construction is filled out and we are running a negative balance here. Okay, let's take a look at our... Okay, so we're, we have no taxes at all. This is very, very progressive. I think we are going to tax services and probably porcelain. Okay, and then we'll zoom out here. We're going to take a look at all of our PMs and try and get them onto the best. Of course, we have to be on workers' co-ops, which nothing wrong with workers' co-ops. But we are just trying to write... Uh... So it looks like we're using all the labor-saving PMs, which is probably okay given the amount of coal we have. Uh, we have a bunch of buildings that are really good at building coal. Coast motor, motor industries are split, which is great. Um, uh, sometimes the shipyards should be split, but... Generally doing one or the other might be a little bit better. I'll trust that this is kind of okay. We have electrics industries, uh, arms industries. Okay, okay, okay. All right, the rural stuff we do want to start swapping a lot over then. It looks like I see we've just steam powered threshers everywhere. Okay, cool. Uh, we're on electric fences, which is good. Not using steam donkey everywhere. It will not necessarily be profitable. But profitability is not always the best indicator of stuff. We can push up demand for uh, coal and then fulfill that demand. And this will also make labor overall cheaper. Um, so we're gonna go for this a little bit. Uh, I trust that this will be okay. And then here, I am assuming, I'm not sure if we have enough engines to make this work. Let's see. Oh, it looks like just a few are not Okay, it looks like it's not a lion's share of things. So we're gonna just fix all these PMs here and make them nice and consistent. Hardwood will almost always be best. We'll go Steam Donkey. Steam Donkey's actually really good in the logging camps. We'll go rail cars. Even if they're not profitable, it will decrease our subsidies. Although workers co-op is, uh, one really nice thing about it is you generally have uh, less of a subsidy problem in the railways. Uh, we'll go refrigerated rail cars on everything. And okay, so we've kind of got all the PMs solved there. And we have a few, uh, full queue. Now, notably, we are going to be controlling most of the queue because, uh, government construction is low. But now we have to take a look at a very important number here, which is, what's the modifier for the investment pool? 0.92. So, we can have a little bit of a think here because, um, while this number, so while your GDP is, uh, relatively low, um, then command economy will, will be really good. Uh, just to only if you have a low GDP, and if we could go ca command economy, that would actually be fantastic. We would have to go back to monarchy, though, I think. Oh, no, wait. We'd have to get off of anarchy. <sighs> okay, so... If we can go to autocracy or oligarchy... Um, yeah, anarchy has just never been a fan of that. Um, but can we get onto oligarchy is the question... Because then we can go command economy. Oh, well, we can in theory go command economy, not like this. Yeah, these guys are super caked up. And the rural folk aren't happy. It would be really nice if they were happy, but they're not. Okay. A lot of people endorse this. I think we will not be able to... Or, sorry, we were looking for this. The industrialists and the planters and the intelligentsia. I think if we go in our universal suffrage first, though, we could still try and go up to oligarchy. How mad do people get? The trade unions just get minus 20 mad. Uh, that will probably be enough to rev, uh, to be honest, if we were to, like, reform and do something. There's, like, probably not even a good way to reform. So we're going to start by going back to... Uh, Universal suffrage. Nobody hates it, and uh, things will be a little bit better there, or we'll have a little bit more maneuverability. Actually, let's make sure. We're on workers' protections. Yikes. Minimum wage is generally not very good thing. Uh, so we will actually... Oh, and we have so much bureaucracy. We probably need to delete some of these. Okay, let's uh, get rid of... I, well, I don't like... 
It's gonna be hard to get back to regulatory bodies, so we're gonna start off by doing some of this action as well. And now we just have an absolute, we're gonna have an enormous amount of bureaucracy. So let's uh, see if uh, we can incorporate any states uh, because we have an enormous amount of bureaucracy. We're kind of all incorporated, okay. <sighs> okay. So we're probably going to want to actually delete an enormous amount of bureaucracy. Unless is this coming from the exploit in just Washington, D.C.? Is that what's going on here? No. No, no, no. Okay, it's not the exploit. Alright, let's take a look. Where are all your... Government administrations. We got a ton. I don't even know the best way to figure out which ones to delete, to be honest. But we just, we really want to just delete a lot of them to give us some more money. Um, Panama can probably go. Uh, and we have insufficient tax capacity in Texas and Oklahoma, so we'd actually want a couple more in there. Actually, let's not build a couple more. We're trying to save ourselves some cash. Um, just a little bit of cash. I guess we don't need to delete an enormous amount. Let's just find a few. Uh, Wyoming. There's probably not that many people in Wyoming, is there? Yeah, there's not that many people there, so we'll just knock off ten of these. And then... Was there a ton of people there? No, we're fine on the tax capacity. We could actually even delete a few more. Um, and then, just keep doing this, because we're gonna get, we're gonna have so much more bureaucracy as the, the institutions we don't like, uh, wind down, uh, because how much are we paying on welfare, actually? I'm curious. We're paying a half a mil on government wages, uh, diplo pacts, we're paying a lot in diplo pacts, war reparations to Portugal, yikes. We're not paying any? Really? Where's our welfare payments? How are we paying zero welfare? Well, this is going on. That's interesting. I'm genuinely confused. Uh, we're also going to want to increase taxes if we have any peasants. We have a ton of peasants. More than gainfully employed. Okay, so we are going to do this as well and then or actually let's do it a little bit at a time we're gonna do this and we are gonna need a ton of steel because we are going to quintuple construction I think I think this is the way out I assume we're on steel frame buildings yeah okay so Illinois we're gonna 51 yeah So add that there. So Illinois will be 51 in steel. And then we're going to need glass and boom booms and tools. So Missouri, we're going to finish 51-ing this. And also add uh, 51 in Oklahoma, I guess. So Missouri and Oklahoma. And we are, of course, building to level 51. Uh... The reason we're building level 51 is to get the max economy scale throughput bonus in places. Uh, I think we needed glass as well, or we will need glass. Tejas is fine. We'll get that up. We'll add some railways there. And then... Let's see. Yeah, so generally speaking, um, why we're increasing taxes is... Uh, as you have a lot of peasants, um, you can increase taxes and uh, just construct a whole lot more. And then when you run out of peasants, migration, attraction, and SOL becomes really important. And so lowering taxes becomes good. It also stimulates the economy because there's more consumption. But we are going to drive the consumption now. And we are not, and we don't have to worry about migration at this point. Um, and we are going to drive the construction, construction by just, or the 
we're going to drive this just by uh, absolutely blasting construction into the upper at atmosphere. We're going to try and quintuple it, and hopefully this will. And we're building these, by the way, because they give construction efficiency. We're building them all in places uh, that we are also going to be constructing stuff in a hot second. Okay, so that's all that noise. Uh, and I guess maybe we can just let this... I really don't feel like deleting all these, like, by hand. Um, but in theory, you would want to delete a lot down because we are floating a bunch of extra bureaucracy that we don't need to. Let's take a look at our infamy. Okay, okay, okay. And we have some boats, too. Um, unfortunately, we can't go into Zulu. That would be a nice soft spot. Bahrain? Maybe? Can't go into Brunei, either. I uh, can't take that canal. Do we have the Panama Canal, at least? It looks like we do. We could also just start annexing boys. We can also maybe Dominion some people. Uh, I don't think we want to get our pie fingered when we're largely just doing economic stuff, though. So maybe we shouldn't worry about the expansion. Although some ideas are going after Bahrain. Also going after Mexico, because it's nice and close. It does have some valuable stuff and just kind of trying to connect everything. So it's all connected with railroads. Uh, don't think we're going to Dominion them. We could also just try and peacefully integrate Mexico. Maybe we do that. Are they happy with us or sad with us? I don't know. But let's not focus on the military too much. Yeah, they're antagonistic. Hmm. We'll see what happens here. Okay. So we have a whole bunch of construction centers in the queue. We're just going to unpause now and try and get stuff going. Um, in theory, what we're going to want to do, as far as laws go, is we're going to want to come... We're gonna want to come, so we're gonna come off of anarchy and maybe look to go to autocracy or oligarchy, um, so that we can do uh, command economy for a little bit before going back to council republic. It looks like uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty good. Uh, we're on cooperative ownership, free trade, graduated taxation, excellent, excellent, excellent. No colonial affairs. Uh, <clears throat> this is probably fine because there's no more colonization to be done, uh, but. Uh, it is important to note that uh, you can get, you know, the 10%, uh, what is it? Uh, you can get the 10% juice on from colonial exploitation, so very often, just for the 10% throughput, you leave on the first level of colonial exploitation. Um, public schools are fine, private would be better, but swapping will make the trade unions mad, which we don't want. And uh, same with private health insurance would be better, but we're kind of beyond that point. Uh, no migration controls, everything banned. Glad we got rid of slavery. Property and women, we do want to go women's suffrage if we can, but it's not a priority. Compulsory primary school. We want to switch to regulatory bodies and maybe go rights of assembly um, just for the extra authority. Uh, looks like, how are we spending our authority entirely? Is it just the consumption taxes we put in? Okay, interesting. So we are just ratcheting up construction. We started at 900. We are just going to send it. Uh, we're going to send this line straight vertical. Um, in fact, let's take let's pause and take a screenshot because I have a sneaking suspicion that this line is going to change dramatically. And so we are just trying to fix up this communist paradise. <clears throat> And a big part of it's we just need to like get to 5,000 construction uh, as quickly as possible. And we have a lot of pops, so this should be relatively easy, uh, especially when we have all these peasants. We have great PMs, we have all this. Uh, we are going oil turbine. It hurts my soul, but we're going to go oil turbine. Um, and then after that... War game is actually pretty good, but I, I, don't, think, I don't think the military is expansion's the problem. Maybe it is. Maybe we should be looking. Let's take a look. How big is our military anyways? Maybe our military is just huge. Okay, we have the conscription centers, which are on a variance of PMs that I have no idea what they're on, but I'll trust that they're pretty good. Uh, are we still on? We're on pro army. Okay. But we have a relatively small army, so I think that we don't really want to mix it up with anyone too crazy. Uh, they're cooperative. Maybe we could do something. Let's see about our declared interests. 
Okay, so we have 11, so let's put him in a few places. We are getting mass migrations. Thank you for the Statue of Liberty. Alright, that'll do for now. The means of production, the production of the means. 100% uh, loyalists from standards increasing, or we get migration attraction. I think we went to... Uh, we are fine with the loyalists. Everyone really likes what's going on, but not for long, because we're going to put everyone to work. Alright, we not spread that. So we're going to put it on all of our military here. Now, I'm not sure what we want to do with all this. Okay, it looks like we just got Honduras, and he didn't swap over Honduras. Uh, but he wants everything else on... Skirmish infantry and bike messengers. And this, I guess? We are going to switch the main one to field hospitals if we have opium. We probably don't have opium, so maybe the plan is to go into Macron, actually. Uh, just to get ourselves some opium, go Macron, Kalat, uh, Afghanistan. And this is often uh, one we can make. Oh, it looks like these guys hate our guts and these guys hate our guts, so I think we'll actually be doing nothing. All right, so where is our electricity? Please tell me it's all in New York. Oh, no. Why is there so much in Georgia? New York gets a special bonus. So let's uh, turn that on there, and let's 51 New York's electricity. And then we're going to add some railways. A rubber rush, sir. Most effective. Most effective indeed. And then... We're going to take a look. What are our railways on? We definitely want them all on steel passenger carriages. And they're all on electric trains already. Perfect. wonder if we've triggered a, a metropolitan railway. Let's take a look at Washington, D.C. Not that it matters too much. Yeah, we do have metropolitan railway. So we will get uh, cheaper infrastructure in general here. But I think what we do here is just the government administrations. Because, look, we get 25% throughput from the... Uh, White House and economies of scale, and eventually we can build. Ooh, actually, we can do surveys. Let's see. We're gonna survey a skyscraper site now, so we have a ton of extra stuff. And we are having some of these uh, finished. We get universal suffrage, which is gonna be nice, and we are illegitimate now because we have to have an election. Yep, we gotta wait for our election. And we get. Uh, let's get someone to be a feminist. So who's a feminist now? Looks like we got a couple feminists. One is really caked up. So let's try and get on women's suffrage while we can. And that'd be ni big nice if we could get it before the election. Uh, we have. Let's take a look at these parties because we have the Whig Party and the uh, Populist Party. We can choose the People's Party, the Whigs. Well, uh, we'll probably add some momentum to the Whig Party. I think we're gonna need their help. <sighs> All right, we have a bunch of these uh, starting to finish now, these construction centers. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna build another wave of construction centers, but we are going to, let's first take a price, look at the price of steel. Okay, iron's coming on up and coal is coming on up. So what we will do is we will take a look and we are gonna try and find places for iron and coal that we can build up to level 51. We'll finish the Missouri and then we have West Virginia. And so we'll 51 West Virginia in the coal uh, we'll add a few railways up front. And then at the very front, we're going to build up the construction centers there for the coal. And then, 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 we're going to look at the resource industries for the mines. And we see Minnesota can build up to a relatively high level. Can anyone go 51? Michigan can. So what we will, we're going to do the same thing in Michigan. We're going to add some railways at the front. We're going to add a ton of these at the front, up to level 10. And then we are going to just fully max out the iron mines here at the back of the queue. And then we, okay, yeah, let's unpause. Uh, we are going to put some more oil in because we do want to switch over to the oil turbine uh, TM. And we're going to put them on auto expand as well. And let's start swapping over more of our things. We'll swap over, of course, this one to oil-fired plant. 
I'm not sure if this will cause an oil shortage. We'll see. Suffragist march. Protest has got to be heard. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Women's suffrage before the election, please. Uh, we do have a little bit more authority because we came off of anarchy. So what we're going to do is we're going to add more consumption taxes. And we can do the little trick. Ooh, we don't want to be... Let's get off of some of this government wages, too. Yeah, now we're making a ton of money that we are going to just put into construction. And we're just going to get up to 5k construction here. This is the goal for the for this, this save, probably. Uh, if we take a look at GDP, we should be able to... It's going to, like, oscillate a little bit here. Uh, but you will see it's going to start cranking up real, real fast as we add the construction. Um, you basically want to think of construction as your GDP growth rate. And eventually it gets gated by just not having more resources you can go after. Is Great Britain having a little bit of a tiff? Uh, they are fighting them, so we might be able to go in on Macron here. So we're just going to take a quick save, and we're going to look to just uh, snab Macron here. And uh, this is going to give us access to opium to improve the army a little bit. And also, this is a nice soft spot, generally speaking, for you to be able to expand. And I just have to keep talking while my thing's saving. Uh, but this is a soft spot, generally speaking, and we are just going to conquer them. That way we can keep going in. There's quite a bit of infamy. We'll see. Wow, the UK is so kicked up. Holy snapples. So this might be a load. Oh, their power projection is only 4k. This isn't too bad. But hopefully we can get in on Macron and we can just do this uh, nice and easy. Easy peasy. Uh, it is not going to take us up over 25 infamy, which I don't think we can afford to do. And we are still making money. Money moves, that is. Let's take a look at uh, the expensive... Okay, we can still support a lot more construction because steel's not too, too bad yet. Let's make sure that all our places are in steel frame buildings. Yeah, they are. And so we're going to add a whole bunch more construction centers. And we're going to add them where we know, like in Michigan here. And also in Virginia, because we know we're about to build a bunch of stuff there. And in New York, because we are also going to build a bunch of electric plants there. And then uh, we will unpause. And then let's take a look at our consumer goods a little bit, because we are putting in a bunch of construction goods. Or let's just look for what's really profitable. Uh, power plants are profitable. We got a bunch of in New York in the queue. Looks like none of our consumer goods are especially profitable, except for furniture is a little bit there. And so, hmm, I guess it's just building more construction stuff. So we're going to come in on Illinois now. Or we already built some stuff in Illinois. Where's Connecticut? Connecticut, I think, doesn't have that much infrastructure. But we're going to 51 in Connecticut, uh, the tooling workshops. And then we're going to add uh, some railways at the front of the queue. And then we're going to add a bunch of construction centers at the front of the queue in Connecticut. And then we're going to keep on kind of repeating this process. We're going to look for a tooling workshop that we can 51. And we're going to 51 Kansas. And then we are going to add uh, some railways at the front of the queue. And then they probably actually have decent infrastructure. Uh, well, okay. And then we will add these at the front of the queue. And we are really just trying to expand the construction centers right now and try and get them up above, you know, to the point where we're, we're trying to get to 5K construction as quickly as possible. And we'll, we'll see that this line will just absolutely fly up once we do that. It comes down initially because we increase taxes, which decreases demands and this sort of stuff. And we should be able to afford all this construction as well. Uh, we also don't mind deficit spending in the slightest, which is kind of the plan. It looks like the People's Party is won, followed by the Communist Party. So now we can make some moves. Um, so let's take a look at our laws and what we are trying to do after property to women. So I think we're staying on Council Republic, but we maybe want to go Oligarchy. Oligarchy is going to be a tough sell, though. The Industrialists need to be strong. Tough. Okay. But how mad do people get? The trade unionists get real mad, but they're not that upset with us to begin with. So we might be able to go oligarchy and then go command economy. <sighs> and the idea is we don't want to stay command economy. We want to uh, hit it and quit it till we get when we get around, I don't know, six to eight hundred million GDP. All right, and let's continue pushing out the resource industries as well so we have uh 
we're already building stuff in New York, but let's max these out in Minnesota at the back of the queue. And then at the front of the queue, we're going to add a couple of railways. And then we're going to add a bunch of construction centers to bring them up to level 10. And just keep adding construction. And we are losing money now, which is perfect because we really don't want to be hitting that like upper surplus region. Um, <clears throat> I think we just need even more. Well, we have some glass in the queue. And Illinois is the absolute banger of all. We get women's suffrage. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, the banger of all uh, lead mines. It has the most lead mines in the game. So we'll expand lead mines there. Put this on auto expand. We'll put the lead mines on auto expand. And we will add a bunch more construction here. And then we'll kind of take a look at where we might have problems with infrastructure. We're doing okay. We're getting the construction up. This might be the next, this wave of construction might be enough to force us to raise taxes again, but this is like really what we can do. Uh, we cannot tolerate the behavior, except we can. We were just kidding. And we should be pulling in, uh, these numbers up a lot more. Um, yeah, we're looking to get a lot of these peasants out. Uh, automatic machine guns are completed. Hell yeah, brother. I think we'll give him Stalwart Defender, I guess. But he will get us Macron, and then we'll be into Kalat and etc. Mostly etc. here. Looks like we are getting a bunch of this transportation up. The hyper min maxi would be to like weave it together so that it's like railway and then like 10 things and then railway and then 10 things, but I don't have the patience for that. The automatic construction queue is also not going to help us out too much, so we do have to keep an eye on a lot of stuff ourselves. Uh, like dyes are getting a bit expensive. Do we have a lot of sulfur mines? I think America generally doesn't. Um, I th I'm assuming we can't build too much dye. Uh, yeah, we cannot build any dye plantations. And so we will need to build synthetic plants somewhere. We have them in Wisconsin. Move aside, cheese. And we're just going to 51 this because this is coming on up. And then we should have, like, no demand after this uh, for this stuff in particular. And we will also crank the railways up. I think we already did, maybe. Okay, so now let's come in and we're going to put in some auto con construction on some things we're going to automatically expand the rice farms because rice is generally more efficient as far as grain goes but we don't want to build for example maize farms i think we'll specialize in sugar here because we don't have too many sugar things and then we're going to find a place that has cotton that does not have yeah like this perfect and we're going to auto expand this out give us a bit of an auto queue so now we have this we will hit it with our handy dandy smacky wacky button And we'll reset the PMs here. And then, importantly, we're going to delete uh, everything that's not opium. Opium only. And then we'll put a bunch of opium at the front of the queue. Actually, well, <laughs> the problem is they're going to have negative construction efficiency, but we just want to get this opium in. And we don't want to declare a ton of wars. Uh, this is not super min-max. Really hate that these start out not subsidized, but okay. And we'll, of course, delete this. Get out of here. Get out of here. So these will actually be a little bit slow. Let's actually kick them to the back of the queue. Yeah, they take forever. Man, I really hate that it's like this. Okay. We're actually going to cancel them, but just put it on auto-expand. They should be able to figure it out themselves. So that way we're only building one at a time. Big Sag. We're going to put it on automatic irrigation and rail transportation. And this is fine. The construction's coming on up. We're losing a little bit of money. We still want to keep expanding construction a lot. Let's take a look at our prices. And we're mainly looking at construction goods. We have dyes kind of figured out a little bit. Uh, looks like engines are coming on up, but engines will generally equilibrium a little bit higher. But it looks like glass might be the next thing. So if we take a look here, glass, the earnings on glass, not that great. But we can put in an Ohio. And let's get Ohio to level 51 on this. And then add a few railways at the front of the queue. I don't think we have a ton of glass in the queue. Let's just take a look what we have in the queue as well. Tools, iron, lead, uh, synthetic plants, and now glassworks in Ohio. Bellucci is seated. What? Oh, 
Belushi Uprising. Where is that even? Okay, this is the place we just took. Fair enough. It's because we fired all those people. Yeah, I can get that. I can get behind while you're mad. But that's fine. We will just uh, retake that right quick. Uh, looks like France is doing French things. Hit me like one of your French girls. Um, we will, of course, put this on auto expand. Because this is going to be a banger. I think we probably have enough oil to finish swapping over the stuff as well. So we will do that. We will use oil fire plant normally. Not a huge fan of oil fire plant, but it is. <laughs> we're doing it today. If you got them, smoke them, right? Oh, it's, this is also going to be big nice. I think we, since we are pushing construction so much, the steel PM in here is also going to be nice. Compression ignition is really good as far as uh, the late game tech goes. Uh, is this war going to pop? Or All right, we have to actually... Uh, mind the queue quite a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, see because the queue is now empty because we don't have like very big auto queue because this is one of the features features of Council Republic. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our coal and iron and wood is all on auto expand. And this will kind of keep things along uh, because we definitely know we want to auto expand all these things, right? And so this will keep them all profitable. So we will kind of just fill out the initial ones for these. And this will give us a little bit of QOL uh, in terms of doing this. So we can keep playing on speed five and try and get to 5k construction here. So we'll put all these on auto expand. All right. So let's come in now. And we could actually just put everything on auto expand. Uh, this would not be terrible, uh, but we're not going to do that because it wouldn't be it wouldn't be correct. And by everything, I mean every non-rural thing. Yeah. Okay. And now we're making a ton of money, even though we're auto expanding a bunch. And we are going to take a look and see if we can. Uh, Sulfur mines are incredibly efficient, so we're just going to expand some sulfur mines in some spots. Looks like we don't have any sulfur mines we can build extremely tall, but we're just going to flood the market with sulfur, which of course we're creating a huge demand for with all these synthetic plants. Uh, did we even... Okay, we haven't popped this war yet, but this will be nice uh, eventually. They didn't like how we deleted all the buildings and fired all the people. You don't say... All right, we're still making money, so let's find another place. So, where has a lot of pop, but doesn't have anything built? Looks like South Carolina doesn't have too much built, and we do kind of need more motor industries, so we're just gonna 51 this here and there, and we're gonna add some of this. We're gonna take a look. Why is this not on vineyards? This should be on vineyards. What? Okay. Maybe we needed to take a closer look here. Uh, we might switch this on to Simple Ranch. Uh, here. To increase the price of our... Well, actually, our auto queue is not a very robust factor. So let's not do that just to affect the auto queue. Um, oops, let's get on to Film Art. And we get plastics. Big nice on the plastics. This will drive a huge demand for oil. Uh, which we need right now because we can produce a ton of oil uh, and oil price is not very high. And so let's get on that. It's going to give us way more glass. And we are making a lot of money, so let's come in and we are going to uh, construction center up a bit here. I think we're going to do it in Texas. Uh, and we're going to encourage manufacturing in Texas at some point. Because um, Texas is kind of the place where we can build the absolute tallest. Uh, and we put those at the back of the queue because we have a smooth brain. So let's put them at the front of the queue because we wanted to increase them immediately. All right, that's enough of them. We can have some at the back, I guess. Um, we have, let's see here. Uh, why don't we also just kind of blast these into the next kind of what's going on. Let's put a ton of railways at the front as well. 
that should handle that quite quickly. And then we can see about fixing our PMs. Let's see, our pop's still coming on up. God bless America, but look at this. See, this is what I'm talking about here. We've gone, we've grown the GDP by like 50%. We got so much room for growth because we have so much resources here, which is really why, what we want to go after. So we're also going to come in and it's kind of like rinsing and repeating where we're just, uh, you know, sending uh, some resource industry into the upper atmosphere, I guess. Let's do Tennessee next and then Virginia. And we are going to put in five construction centers or so. Or a bunch of these places. And then some railways at the front. Might be overbuilding these railways. Just trying to play quick here. Almost certainly overbuilding a little bit. Alright, we crushed the secession. So now, of course, we do need to uh, switch the PMs over. And Baluchistan, you're next. We could use return state on them? What? Why can we use return state on them? Is this a, did we have Baluchistan before? Jesus. What has this run been? That's wild. Someone forced you to release Macron and Baluchistan? Or, oh. Or is this just because we have this? But this isn't Cord. It's a split state. We have claim on it. Why do we have a claim on it? Why are we promoting social mobility? Oh, they're promoting social mobility. Yeah, this isn't even incorporated. That's wild. I don't understand why we have a claim. Claim. Is it because they have oil? We're playing the US? We're just going to take a quick look here. Yep, this won't kick us over. Uh, 25, so we're just going to do this. Did we save? Who knows? I can't remember. Looks like oil is auto-building, so this is really good. Uh, this is a very efficient industry as far as contribution to the investment pool, but I guess we don't care about that noise no more because we're, uh, we are what we are. Uh, skyscraper has been identified. Lay the foundations, my friends. We are building big tall here in the District of Columbia. So let's... We are still floating a ton of excess there, and if we were disciplined, we would delete it all, but we are not, so we won't. Um, what are we... Oh, yeah, the skyscraper. Which is not going to be too great. Wait, what? We we identified a spot. Where is it? Is it our capital? Move to what? Wait, what? Wait, where's our capital? It's there. And we did the survey of the skyscraper site. Why can't we build the skyscraper? Interesting. Hmm. What do we even need for the Alaska Purchase? Russia needs to be taking on loans. Let's try to improve relations with Russia. Not that I think we're going to get that in this time period. Oil, you're telling me? Encourage it. Oil's the future. It's not the children, it's the oil. The children of the corn. I mean the oil. Yeah, we can't add anything else. We're just full-on conquering them. And let's build more, 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 more construction. So we will want to find a place that's kind of reasonable for us to just add a bunch of stuff. So how about Oregon? We're going to add a bunch of this at the back of the queue. And then at the front of the queue, we're going to add some construction centers. And then we are also going to add a couple railroads. Actually, probably don't even need that many ra rails if there's like nothing in Oregon. Just some arts academies that are uh, not very profitable. Can we export art? We are running a shortage of this. Can we export art? I guess I've kind of uh, neglected some of this trade stuff. So let's try and fix up some trade. Let's just... We don't really need to care about the investment pool. So we actually can be pretty aggressive. But let's stop exporting oil. Um... Fabric's not the most efficient. So let's not export it. My soul hates exporting tobacco, but it's actually not bad because we're not on a capitalist uh, mode of production. Well, let's just see what's... Yeah, let's export some of this. Nobody's rich enough for that. The truth hurts. 
should be able to push them with just those 20. And... Let's put some of this at the front of the queue as well. Looks like a bunch just finished. We're gonna just max them out too. Alright, look at this. We're making so much money because our construction's... Uh, we gotta add to it. Alright, so let's take a look. Oh, I guess we should be exporting fabric. Ugh, that was a huge export route. No, we're gonna make clothes instead. Alright, let's do this. Oh, looks like they are on auto-expand. Okay, interesting, interesting. Well, we are going to send West Virginia up to 51. In general, you kind of want to focus build up one and then focus build up another. And then we'll do Pennsylvania, I guess. Um, I don't think we're going to take them off of auto expand, though, because this is nice for QOL. Massachusetts. So Massachusetts and Pennsylvania will add a couple of these. And we will create our own demand, which is going to mean we are going to need a lot of silk, which isn't something we can create ourselves, unfortunately. How weak or strong is China? Let's improve relations and look to at least import as much silk as possible from people. Now, this route's not profitable right now, but it's going to get very profitable. So we're just putting them in place now. As we finish a bunch of these, they'll get profitable. Uh, might even want to delete some of these uh, arts academies. It's not ideal. Plastic production is completed. Plastic's the future. You thought it was the children? Uh, let's spread it to Great Britain. Because we do want Great Britain to not hate our guts. And they hate our guts. So, there's that. Now, sulfur is really efficient as a PM, and so we're going to export sulfur as much as possible as well. And this will be big nice. Opium is also really efficient, but we can't afford to export it. Uh, what else is depressed that we can export pretty comfortably? This is going to be profitable. And... We don't want to export grain. We would like to have cheap grain, thank you. Clothes we could export. We could also keep them. Steamers are really nice. Italy sides with Mexico. Revolutionary Mexico. Interesting. This is maybe something we should get involved in. I don't think the main problem of what's going on here is the, the military, though. I think the problem is the economy. So we're going to focus on the economy here. Instead. Alright. Let's just kind of look to expand these resource industries as much as possible. Alright, New York, you're going to get it now. Oh, looks like they have quite a bit of excess infrastructure. But we are going to send them up to 30 construction centers here. And we do have this on auto-expand. Big nice. We're still floating a ton of excess bureaucracy. We would want to delete some of it. We kind of don't want to delete the focused areas. Ooh, let's also take a look at our universities. What's going on there and all that? Actually, we need to hit them with our smacky-wacky button. Alright, we reset the PMs. They're probably not subsidizing rails anymore. So we're going to put that in, and then we're going to auto-expand that. And there's currently not much demand for opium, but what we can do is we can start turning on this, which will create demand for opium. So standard of living is held pretty constant despite the fact that we've increased taxes. Um, so now I think we're kind of getting... We don't even have, so iron's a little bit expensive, uh, or wait, no, not iron, steel is a little bit expensive. So we're gonna make a push on steel, a big push on steel here. 
um, especially once we get this, but then I think we're going to be getting to five, maybe even 6k construction here in just a second. And so, because we are putting in so much, we're going to use our handy dandy control button. Alright, so we got that, so that's 60, and they're in the back of the queue. Um, so things will kind of wind up pretty quick here. Uh, and then New Hampshire, you haven't gotten anything, so we're going to 51 you here. And Wyoming, you haven't got much, I think. So we're gonna 51 you here as well. And so New Hampshire and Wyoming, we're just gonna need to check this. All right, looks like you actually don't need that much. So we're gonna add a couple here in New Hampshire, the front of the queue. And then we will add some more glass. Now let's see what's profitable here glass now see look before nothing was profitable now everything's profitable we're driving demand in the market by adding a ton of construction and so this is like having a cascading positive effect uh tennessee we're gonna add some glass we are also exporting a ton of ceramics which is great i guess we gotta double check and make sure we're on the good pms south dakota you're getting 51 maybe Uh, looks like we don't even need that much railroad and stuff. They have to deal on their own, I think. Yeah, we ain't we ain't about that life. We are about you can you can deal with your famine yourself, my friends. All right, now we have to keep an eye on like kind of what's going on with prices. So clothes are getting really depressed, so we can export the coal clothes. Uh, so let's see about exporting clothes, and we can export a ton of clothes. Uh, this will make the businesses really profitable. And we can also export luxury clothes as well. And let's see if we can even do anything with the getting to our customs union. Kebab, no. No, 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 no. Okay, didn't think so. But, you know, worth a shot. We get established in Probarts. The move in Pitcha. Uh, probably gonna need to try and kneecap. And let's come back to kind of what we're doing here. We're on multiculturalism. So we wanted to maybe... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. I think we're gonna grow the GDP to, like, a high enough, like, level before it's, like, uh... Uh... Before command econ before we could get command economy in, command economy would be really good right now up until we have about 800 million GDP, um, because it gives you it gives you like full control of all the money. Um, but um, yeah, oh well, uh, we do want to come off of uh, workers protections or just have it at level one is also fine. So we'll just have it at level one, I guess. Now, I think we're going to quickly look through the industries and see what's uh, especially profitable. Earnings is six. Insane. Look at this. Such big earnings. And this is being driven by a huge demand created by having a ton of construction, right? Uh, we're also going to add it in Nebraska. So what is this? 38, 41, 51. And you probably don't even need that much infrastructure. Ah, uh, you need a little. Fair enough. And then we'll come in, we'll continue just looking through what's really making a ton of earnings. Chem plants, we're adding quite a bit of chem plants, but I guess maybe Maryland, I don't think we've added anything. So let's, for, uh, 21, 31, 41, 51 in Maryland here. And where's Maryland? Oh my God, I should have paid attention in school. So we're on Kempferts now, or we can switch, so let's do that. Now the price of grain is so depressed that this is not even uh, profitable, but we're still switching anyways. So let's take a look at a lot of this stuff. And what is really expensive? Okay, so sugar is really expensive. We can make sugar here. Let's make this auto expand on sugar and have it specialize in sugar. Um, and let's do this auto expand in sugar as well. And we're going to add to the food industry. See, this one cannot make sugar, so we're going to make you specialize in cotton. And then we will probably be able to add... Uh, we're getting a lot of mass migrations here, but we can probably add... Yeah, Arkansas, we're going to 51 this. 
Now the earnings aren't enormous, but it is going to help drive migration. And we just want to get one to 51 because we're putting in a bunch of sugar, right? Do we need a lot of this? We need a few. Oil, you're telling me. Encourages. Now, for, I think this is just a bug where we just can't build the skyscraper because this is our capital and you, like, survey the skyscraper and... Any building in Georgia? Wait, why was it surveyed in Georgia? Is that what happened? That's wild. I wonder if that's a bug or that's just a feature of the United States. Right, we have a really fat queue, and now we're now we're losing money. But this is a okay. We're one hundred percent okay with this. We're stimulating the economy by injecting money back in, and since we have a lot of peasants still, yes. Although our ratio is a little bit better. Before we had way more peasants than gainfully employed. Now we're mixed. We can just increase taxes, um, and it's not a big deal. All right. So I think a bunch of these construction center construction things are finishing. Uh, I think we maybe want to subjugate Afghanistan. We're going to dominion them, maybe? Maybe we just... Let's not worry about expanding. We're not going to worry about expanding in this save. Um, disaster save. We just want to get to a higher level of construction that's also stable. We finally urbanized the United... Uh, here we go. We will, uh, oh, we'll do loyalists, I guess. We, we're fine with the loyalists, though. We have a ton of loyalists. SOL is really high and nice here. Um, if you build it, they will come. Someone's importing iron from us. Wild. What a time to be alive when iron can be imported from us. Uh, we're gonna 51 this iron mine here in Pennsylvania. And then we're gonna add a bunch of railways at the front of the queue. We are going to play a little bit of whack-a-mole. You do have to play whack-a-mole if you're on Council Republic. So this is one of the downsides. Uh, you have to add your own of all these things. Uh, we got to add construction centers here. We got to add a ton. I don't think there's any in the queue, right? All right, so let's do it. Let's make this one more push. Because we are making the construction cheaper because we are finishing a bunch of stuff. And so we'll just add a whole bunch. This is 100 construction centers. So that's going to be a lot of construction. And perfect timing, we get electric arc process, right? Uh, let's see. We probably want to do mechanical farming. Because we do have a decent amount of farms. Uh, we could also just do wargaming. Let's, uh, we're gonna send the safe back, so why don't we, why don't we do wargaming with the idea that maybe he wants to go and do some wars. Um, uh, and so we'll try and set him up to, to be in a little bit better shape in regards to those PMs. And look at this. We are making money. We're draining this investment pool a little bit, but, uh... We would want to delete a bunch of the bureaucratic centers, but we're making money and we are going to add even more steel. Because we got the steel PM, electric arc process, let's go. Now this makes steel cheaper, which is going to make the construction cheaper. So uh, because of that, we're gonna need boom booms and glass primarily on this construction. And so we're gonna come in on, mm, I think Louisiana, we haven't done anything. So we're just gonna 51 this in Louisiana. Uh, we're gonna add some railways and Louisiana. We're gonna try and play a little bit of whack-a-mole here. Making it gobs of cash. And then we are gonna come in and also look at the chemical plants, which are hyper profitable. And we're gonna look to 51 another one of these. Although we're 51ing a few. And these are of course making the explosives, which are used in the mines and in construction. And we're getting a ton of mass migration events here. And we do also have a bunch of construction in the queue. Um, let's just take a look at industry and look what has really high earnings. Um, this is generally a good way of looking about things. We see that New York is, we just want like all the power to come from New York. Because uh, they have this super good bonus. Textile mills. Yeah, it looks like we're fine on these kinds of goods, but let's 51 this in Maine. 
So for the consumer goods a little bit. Do you need a railway, my friend? Looks like you'll need some. I'm trying not to overbuild the railways too much. I guess we should incorporate this because we're just floating the, the bureaucracy anyways. They're illegitimate? What's going on? Let's just do this. I'm, I think it's going to be a little bit... I, I'm not sure if we can really write some of these laws, but we can keep these laws really low. We really would like to get off of workplace uh, onto regulatory bodies, though. So... The problem is, is it's really hard to get the industrialists in government when you have the huge trade unionist. Um, but this law is... Uh, minimum wage is, is it's a killer. There's like so many, it sometimes works, but there's so many conditions that can cause it to just death spiral your economy. But we are getting a lot of good bonuses here. Um, you know, we're getting the trade unions bonus, the intelligentsia bonus. We're even getting uh, honest work, which is pretty strong. I don't think there's a, is there a way for us to make these guys just a little bit happier? Probably just increasing SOL. We could just lower taxes, which would do that, but I don't think we're... I think we want to just add more construction instead of lowering taxes, to be honest. So, this is kind of what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to start doing some of this. And some of this. Because we are getting really kicked up and we need to be a little bit faster about uh, everything because the construction is way bigger. Now we're losing money, but this again is not a big issue. We can of course increase taxes and um, we also have enough money for a consumption tax or we could encourage manufacturing here in Tejas, which we can build really high, which I kind of like the idea of doing uh, because I just like encouraging manufacturing, man. It's actually probably no good, but I want to do it. No, let's just put in the consumption tax. Oop, not on glass, what the hell? Put it on liquor. Prohibition time, baby. And we're up to 5k construction, so... I mean, it's been a little bit over an hour, but we have, uh... So we want these guys to... We probably want the trade unions to have the feminist ideology, because if we end up passing anything that upsets them later, um, this will help them be happy with us, because if they have the feminist ideology on a permanent basis, they will be a little bit happier with us, generally speaking. Let's just come in here and kind of finish out uh, this run, I guess. Or this uh, save, if you will. Doing some of that action. So that'll be at the back of the queue. And of course, we are going to hemorrhage money when we hit that. Or we're like kind of hemorrhaging money now, but you know, mo money, less problems. Or mo money, mo problems. So let's get rid of it. For whatever reason, Georgia has access to the skyscraper, which doesn't make sense to me, but okay. And we will need to put in a lot more consumer goods, I'm thinking. So, New York, uh, so Mississippi, let's 51 this. Uh, and then Ohio, let's also 51 it. And then, where's Mississippi? I need some of those. And I think we're going to play until 1909. Maybe something around there. We're going to play until we hit 6k construction. But look at this, baby. This is what it's about. The construction is, like, fundamentally the most important thing. Yeah, I like this. We're giving him some of a uh, little bit better PMs in case he wants to fight some people. We haven't expanded the military, but uh, should we give them the option to go NCO or mechanized farming is probably the more disciplined one, right? But what if we rack discipline? Hmm, we could go destroyer. 
Let's go mechanized farming and then uh, anticipating that he will want to do some fighting. We're also going to put in a bunch of uh, naval bases as well. Because I think that this is kind of what the army is lacking. So we'll just do some of this. Don't think we need that in California. So something like this, 150 boats, put in the queue. Of course, we will need a lot more boat making. Why don't we put it in here? Because we do have a bonus here for shipyards. <clears throat> Losing money, but this is fine. We would not mind them losing a little bit of cloud if we ever want to try and get the industrialists in to switch on to just regular uh, uh, workers' protections, because we would dramatically prefer that. Oh, you know what tech would also be actually nice right now is antibiotics. There we go. Let's do it. And we are at 6k construction. Is there any more construction centers in the queue? No. We're at 6k construction. We're at my minus 500k. But this should be, you know, should be able to fix this up pretty quick. It's all in, uh, you know, construction goods for the most part. Uh, so what is the steel, glass, uh, tools, and explosives? So let's check our prices real quick. And just see where things are at in regards to those. Um, dyes are a bit of a problem. We'll need to put some more dye things in, but it looks like tools are a little expensive. That's kind of it. So let's put a bunch, of, a little bit of tools in the queue. Uh, I think we actually already have some in the queue, and then also the dye creating places in the queue. Nah, it looks like we don't have that many. So we'll just create a 51 in New York, uh, Illinois, and we'll add a few, and then we gotta add some here. Gotta add some of this. Some of that, some of this, and uh, we're also running a die shortage. So let's 51 this in Indiana as well. 39, 40, 41, 51, and they don't have too much infrastructure, so we will have to add it. And here we go. This has been a little bit of a save of this run. Um, still, it's not too much time left in the game but you should be in much better shape to you know expand and go out and fight and do this sort of stuff we roughly doubled gdp and we hex toppled construction and so i think you're going to be in a really good spot here um to just like kind of pop off uh and do a bunch of stuff uh you know we managed to keep the sol kind of roughly the same um and kind of the heuristic going forward is uh if you want to go fight someone big you're going to need to expand the military a lot but you should be able to afford that don't mind this. This is going to kind of fix itself over time as long as you just, you know, keep constructing and doing all this stuff. Um, you know, you have a ton of unemployed pops. Um, you know, the peasants have like uh, barely budged and instead you've just been getting more migration and gamefully employed pops. So you have access to a ton of cheap labor. You're in really good shape uh, as far as all this goes. Um, you know, the you should be able to this is just going to be temporary. Also, you can increase taxes a little bit. As long as you still have a lot of peasants, you'll be fine. Um, this is... But we have, uh, you know, double G the GDP, roughly speaking, in how many years? Let's take a look at the, the note at the start. Uh, it's 1903, so in about five years, we double GDP. Um, we got access to a little bit of opium. This is the, the only expansion we did because we wanted to be more focused on the economy. Uh, the really big thing is just to keep expanding construction because this is your GDP growth rate and this is like the essence of, um, you know, you want to expand it as much as you can, especially when you have a ton of resources available, which you do in the United States. The United States has tons of resources and loud cars outside. And so um, this is going to be, yeah. And um, what else did we do other than doubling GDP and 6x in construction. I think that was kind of it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little bit of a disaster save or turnaround kind of thing. I thought it was one of the more interesting ones, which was just like, hey, fix the economy, please. Um, I do think uh, in particular these, you don't want to be paying a ton of minimum wage and welfare. I don't think we're paying any welfare. Uh, we're paying out a little bit of welfare, but it's not too bad. Um, 
I didn't keep a close eye on this during the game, um, but uh, if you wanted to increase social security a little bit, you probably could. Uh, but I think having these really high is uh, a bit of a problem, especially when we started, you know, increasing taxes and this sort of stuff. Uh, it might have become a little bit of a problem. Um, but we, we should be in good shape moving forward here in the United Syndicates of America. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have a disaster save you want to save, uh, send in, uh, you can send it to vic3disasterpiece at gmail.com. And have a good day.